Hello everyone. So we are back after one week that we've treated treated the plants with canna cure. So I actually didn't check them because I didn't have the time and I totally forgot about it to be fair. Well you know what? Well this one doesn't have anything on the back of the leaves except this I don't know if you can see these little dots uh, that I don't know if they are a spider mite um, damage or because they are doing like sap and where the sap is produced these little dots are appearing more so the, the spider mite damage it's more like let me see more like this grazing on the leaves so let's see this one actually they are all right they don't have any more spider mites especially the babies here they had a lot of spider mites on them but i can't see anything anymore all right so that went well i guess let's see this one a lot of grazing on the leaves oh no this one has some spider mites here oh god i don't know if you can see them because it's a really fine web maybe i didn't spray them well let's see we have more no not really See, there is a lot of grazing on the leaves from the spider mite. But I think mm, this went quite well, except a few spots. But what I will do now... Oh, 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 sorry. What I will do now, I will spray them again. Actually, this, this thing it's supposed to control a lot of pests and powdery mildew as well but it's expensive it's 23 pounds for one liter and you need to put 33 milliliters per no 330 milliliters let me, let, let me check so I don't give it the wrong. Yeah, 330 milliliters per one liter. So this will make you actually three liters of of this stuff. But you have to spray them every week. So actually, from the point of view of money, this is mm, it's not that good. And but it's a foliar nutrient as well. So. I will continue to spray them because they are only three plants. I think I have two or three with spider mites as well. Yeah, and I'm looking at one right now. My silver sword. But this one, I don't know if you can see. Let's see if we can see these little dots. I think these are red spider mites. So... I think I will, I will treat this one as well because he definitely have something but that is kind of it I had the philodendron um, which one? Veracusum which continuously had spider mites so I just put it in the bin sorry but I can't I, I can't do it anymore with that one I put it in the bin I still need to check all my orchids there to see if they are all right they don't have so much light but one of them it's putting out a, can you see there a spike since i put it in that dark place it's a brassia so that's that's interesting that's really interesting but yeah i still need to check those but i don't have spider mites but those these three this tree came with spider mites and oh 
god i treated them with everything with paraffinum liquid with uh, alcohol with everything so this this one the little one it's a uh, monierara millennium magic witchcraft which i really don't want to lose this one it's a grammatophilum and this one it's i forgot what it is it's a uh, Cygnodes Jumbo Monkey, really nice flowers. But yeah, since they put out this amount of leaves, they always had spider mites and it's, it's driving me crazy. So I will treat them again for another week, even if you have to treat them every week. So yeah, well, I think I will go till, till I will finish this whole tub and after that, I don't know. We will see. I know uh, that paraffinum liquidum and soap, it's working really well for millibugs, for scale, for those type of pests, but didn't work for me for spider mites. No, no way. It, it didn't work. So I give up with those type of natural remedies, even if I bought this one, which is apparently natural. But I will go for more for pesticides from now on if if I continue to have pests because I don't want to infect my whole collection. So yeah, this was the update for the Kana Cure. Uh, I bought this because I'm using the same brand of fertilizer which I started to like a lot and i will make a video about that and uh, how i use it and how much i use it but i use the same brand kana for the fertilizer now and i'm really happy with it i'm using it for the last three or four months i know i've told you that i've used it but i didn't like it but i've tried a different uh, concentration and i really really enjoy it so um i think in my next video I will tell you how I use it, how I am using that fertilizer. So stay tuned for my next video. Please subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.